What's up, boys? So there's this guy on Twitter, uh, Gene Park. He's like a video game journalist or whatever. It's not very relevant, but what is relevant is that he made a tweet. And l let me just read out the tweet for you real quick. I really want to see Sony Studios downscale their projects. I'm hungry for a new Naughty Dog game that doesn't take five years and tireless crunch to make. Now, this pissed PlayStation fanboys off because you are not allowed to critique Sony and Naughty Dog in any way, shape or form. Which is really weird because I wouldn't even say that this is like criticism at all. It's more like just a suggestion or something that he would like to see more of in the future. He would just prefer if Naughty Dog made some smaller project as well. So he wouldn't have to wait fucking five years to get a new Naughty Dog game. But anyway, before we get into the salty PlayStation fanboy tweets, I just kindly would like to inform everybody that most of the people who watch my content aren't subscribed, so if you end up liking this video, please subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into this bullshit. For real, just make another Lost Legacy style game. That was great. No, we don't want forgettable, we want generation defining experiences. I mean, let's be 100% honest, when was the last time Naughty Dog made a generation defining game? Okay, yeah, they made Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter back in the day, but I would, I feel like their last generation-defining game was Uncharted 1. Because after Uncharted 1, every single Naughty Dog game just became Uncharted, but a little bit different. Uncharted, but with better graphics. Uncharted, but fucking boring as shit. That's essentially just what The Last of Us is. The Last of Us is essentially just Uncharted, but only the parts where you're walking around and... Cutscenes happen. Also, you don't need five years to create a quote-unquote generation-defining video game. Some of the greatest games of all time have taken like less than one or two years to make. Like New Vegas only took 18 months. Ah, uh, the classic thing. I want shorter games with worse graphics made by people who are paid more to work less. And I'm not kidding. Mate, just because a game is going to be of a smaller scale, that doesn't mean at all that the fucking graphics are gonna suck, or that it's gonna be incredibly short. Again, you don't need five years to make a phenomenal video game, you just, you just don't. Worst take ever. Bethesda would be the one to ask that for more released games. They would still find a way to have many bucks in their games. But Sony games are that level of quality because they take the necessary time. Gaming needs to be better, not worse. First of all, I would like to appreciate how this guy like deflects the criticism while throwing shade at an Xbox studio because, you know, of course that's what you have to do if you're a PlayStation fanboy praise Sony while at the same time criticizing literally everything else. And no, most Sony games don't need that long in development to be like of a high quality. Because yeah, graphically, uh, for example, mo a lot of Naughty Dog games look amazing. They're amazing technically. Gameplay wise, they all kind of fucking suck, let's be completely honest. But, but that's not important, all the guy who made the original tweet said was that he would like to see smaller projects from, ga from studios like Naughty Dog so he would have more Naughty Dog games to play and he wouldn't have to wait 5 years for another, another Naughty Dog game. Naughty Dog could easily do uh, what they did with Uncharted Lost Legacy where every single time they release a major game use that game's engine and assets to make a smaller spin-off. That's always asking for more Naughty Dog games to come out faster, which is something Naughty Dog could do if they wanted to, but you're sitting there pretending like he said he wants Naughty Dog to rush out their games and have them release as shitty looking broken masses. That's not at all what he said. You say that, but when it comes out with sacrificing quality, you might be the first one who gives it a low score. It's hard for studios that set such a high bar to go backwards and don't receive a big backlash. First of all, does Naughty Dog really set that high of a bar? I feel like technically, you know, visually their games are very impressive, but but like story-wise and, and gameplay-wise, they're 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 not really very impressive. They're they're kind of shit. Not gonna lie. Again, I don't think their games have in any way, shape, or form evolved from Uncharted 1's gameplay. But anyway, I don't think a lot of people will care if a game with great gameplay 
doesn't have good visuals because most people don't really care about graphics it's mainly again fanboys that really get a fucking hard on for graphics and if you are watching this and you care about graphics a lot right that's that's, that's your opinion i don't care if you like graphics i'm just saying you know if the most important thing for you while playing a video game is the graphics and not the gameplay I know it's kind of weird, you know, because because personally, you know, I I take a game with shit graphics and amazing gameplay over a game with amazing graphics and shit gameplay any fucking day of the week. Downscale? Are you fucking high? It takes time to make a masterpiece. I mean, yeah, but also no. It takes time to make a masterpiece, sure, but it doesn't take five years. Like you have a lot of great games that are made again in less than two years. Actually, I believe that Uncharted 1 and 2 were released within two years, right? Or was it 2 and 3? I'm not sure. And yeah, you could say that back then it was a lot easier to make video games, but nowadays there is better technology and Naughty Dog has more money and resources. So yeah, no, it definitely should not take five years to create a quote-unquote masterpiece. They can create a masterpiece within like three years if they really wanted to. I mean, yeah, I guess the graphics aren't going to be as good as like The Last of Us 2's, but who really cares about like fucking shit like peach fuzz on the character model's faces? Like, I, I get it, okay? Last of Us 2 looks good. It, it's pretty. I like looking at The Last of Us 2. I don't care though, because I'd rather play fucking Fallout New Vegas, a game that literally looks like hot garbage, over The Last of Us 2 because it's actually fun. And they didn't take four years trying to get every single detail in an old man's face correctly. Then you're looking for a low effort cash grab like the current Square Enix crap we're getting. No, like why do people have this retarded idea that there are only two options here, either you wait five or more years for an incredibly technical game, right? It's with amazing visuals, or you wait one year for a shitty low effort cash grab with PS2 graphics. There is a middle ground here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, anyway, boys, I hope you enjoyed this video about PlayStation fanboys attacking people on Twitter for their opinion on a video game which is definitely something that you should attack people over. Their opinions on a video game that you like. <laughs> I don't it's not even a, it's not even a video game. They're attacking someone because that person likes the same games that they do. They just want them to come out a little bit faster. That's that's too far, man. What the fuck? You actually want to play these video games? Nah, we just talk about them on Twitter. Well, anyway, boys, this is the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.